2010 Hyundai Sonata. I think the Kia, uh, maybe Optima would be the same. This is getting a fuel pump. You see the old fuel pump there. I think it may still work, but it uh, it died. The fuel pump is in between the trunk and the back seat. Make sure nothing is back here because you need that space to be able to knock that ring off that's sitting right there by the screwdriver. You have four screws here that hold that plate on. You take those four screws out first, unplug this one. It's gonna be your hardest one to unplug because it has five pins and they like to stick. This one right here will come out easily. It just unclips, pops right off. It's three pins. That is not exactly the easiest fuel pump to get out, but it's definitely not the hardest. I've been at this for maybe an hour, having a runner grab tools for me. in there without too much of a fuss I think the hardest part of this whole thing is going to be putting the ring back on and keeping the seal in place at the same time the seal is under there but I'm not entirely sure if it's all the way on or not it doesn't actually lock into place which you can tell based off of this pump Turn this guy over. Sorry, have to use my other hand for a second. Sit you down for just a second. Okay, more than a second. Okay, so as you can see, this fuel pump that I put in is exactly the same as this. So it doesn't get to sit somewhere. It doesn't sit tight around this space here. So I can move all over. And the tank itself also doesn't have a slot for it to slide into. It would be great if they did because it would make it a lot easier. Nevertheless, <clears throat> The pump is in. This line does move, just so you know. There's a retainer on the back side of this. It is broken. <laughs> I'm not putting it back on because it's not really needed. It's so like Chrysler and their red clips. They like to put them on everything. And then you have a gray clip underneath. Just Push that clip in, pull the line off. I know a lot of people tell you to take them off, pick them out from the side, and you don't have to do all that. Just push this in. You can see from the inside that it does open up. And then you have your green clip here on, I would assume this is the return, since it's got the cheesy green clip on it. You push the top down by hand, pull out slightly on the line reach underneath with either a flathead screwdriver or your finger if you've got small enough fingers I don't so I had to use a flathead and then pull that line off I'm fairly certain that my seal is in place so I will go to putting the retainer ring back on it would be a wise idea to clean all of this up Maybe some brake parts cleaner to be able to knock the dust off of it. And thankfully, <clears throat> I have that sitting here. It kind of trips me out a little bit watching it through the phone on the road.
Also, I'll give you a, a tip. If you use a straw, it uses less. It pressurizes it, makes it easier to get the stuff off instead of having a fan spray, which would be without having it on. Let's see if you can see that with my camera not wanting to focus. A lot of it came off. And in order to put it back on, get ready for a fight. Let's see, I don't have anywhere to set this phone. I need to get a tripod for it. I have one somewhere, I just don't know exactly where. So you slide it around under the sensors. Pull this guy here out of the way. Oh, maybe I lied. I think it's supposed to go around the tubes first. I can't remember. Come on, let me have it back. Okay, definitely tubes first. Make sure the ring is still in place, and it is. Now, when you put this in, you need to make sure that your fuel pump is all the way down. It is spring-loaded slightly, so it will push itself back up. It, this one's definitely not as spring-loaded as the other one, but it is spring-loaded nonetheless. <clears throat> I'm going to pause it for a second and get the ring started. <clears throat> if I can offer anyone any advice, it would be this. After you get it in and you realize that you can't push it down all the way, take the old ga or new gasket out and put the old one back in if it's pliable. If it's not, you're going to fight with it regardless. <clears throat> so this guy, the, the old one is squished a little bit so it makes it a bit easier to get down. And this is spring-loaded just as well as the other one is. It's just, it was at an angle. Now let's see if I can get back off in here. There is a specific spot that that pump goes. And it has to go there. So, if I can get a good shot there, it'd be great. I can't see very well in there. I'm sure you can not see on the camera either. But once you slide it down into its home on the back side of the pump there, or on the back side of the tank, the lock rings will go into place. Just had to push down here. It's like doing a CPR on a little kid. And then slide the lock ring up under the lip. Slide the lock ring under the lip there. Make sure it's under there and make sure it's under here. You can't see back there on the back, but there is four lock rings. But if you've got three, chances are you got the fourth one as well. Putting this together is exactly revert. Wait, no, it's not exactly reverse. It's almost exactly reverse. The old one came out fairly simple. It was hard to move. The new one is not gonna be hard to move. So putting it back in should be easier than taking it out, although the old one you're not so much worried about as you are the new one. So after you get the pump back down in its home, seat it all the way against the, the gasket, take a hammer and a flathead and lightly tap here, and then come back over here and lightly tap this side. You, you can't really get to this one without doing that one first taking it apart is the same way you want to start over here and then you want to end over there yeah, that's pretty much pretty much all of it and then you put the plugs back on start with this guy first and then this one you may want to put some dielectric grease on there as well just so it doesn't corrode as this is semi exposed to the elements 
put your four screws back in. These are plastic, don't over tighten them. Should be ready to rock and roll in your Honda or Kia again.